absolutely right. There's a lot of aftermarket companies that make select AC units for select vehicles. You're absolutely right about that. However, they also sell evaporator units in a universal format. Why? Because it's shops like us that custom make it. They don't make it, but we can make, if we had just 72 Grand Torino in here, we would make one that fit handmade custom. This Pontiac right here, this is a Pontiac Firebird. They don't make a kit for a Gen 4 kit to fit in this Pontiac because of the size of it. But guess what we did? We built a pocket on the inside of the firewall. We made it work. So same thing with this Monte Carlo right here. These are brackets for the new AC mount here that we built. But that's where we mount the new Gen 4 system. They don't make that. This was custom made. Nobody made a kit because nobody knows when you do a smooth firewall, how you're going to do it. Once you get the smooth firewall stuff, you're done with aftermarket. You come in to see us to hand fabricate. So aftermarket is one thing. You're dealing with a different animal when you got people that make it by hand. That's what we do here. This Cadillac right here, the dashboard on this Cadillac is too narrow for a Gen 5. Uh, AC units, but when we come in and make the smooth firewall, we make the provisions for it to fit. These are all your AC lines that come through. This is where the mount at. We had to put the dash in, cut the back of the dash. Now it's surgery, but you need a surgeon. What you talking about aftermarket is things that's done for Chevelle. They make quarter panels for Chevelle. They don't make a quarter panel for a 66 Cadillac. You got to find it at a junkyard, cut it off and put it on. So the aftermarket is, 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 is good if you got a car that's, you know, certain manufacturers make aftermarket parts based off of the demand of the vehicle. They're not gonna put $500,000 in building the product when there's only 30,000 people that wanna buy it, that they know of. You know, Chevelle's, it's a million people want a Chevelle. It's a million people want a Trey 5 Chevy. So they already make the full kit, boat in, everything ready to go because of the desire of that particular vehicle. For those of you that have vehicles that's not correct, we can make it custom. This is the Hurricane unit. The Hurricane unit is made by Old Air Products. The number calls inside of a Gen 4 Vintage Air, which is a very popular unit. That's what we put in every one of these cars. It's a sideways unit, so it's, it's longer here and thinner here. Um, it only have, I think, like 53 cores for heater cooling. The Hurricane have 80. So that's what made, one of the reasons what made me go to it. I was assuming with the size of it, the blower motor, it was gonna put out more cooling. And in the convertible that we putting this in, you need more AC for a convertible because of the top down. And so, you know, it's easy for you to lose without that roof, you know what I mean? So we want as much as cooling we can get inside of that, inside the vehicle. So we ordered this. This is the unit. Um, the, the, the mount locations, it, it has it, it has both AC, defrost. Um, these are your, your connection points, your heater hose and your AC lines come in here. Obviously the bracket that it came with, you know, that mounts up to the bolts. We're gonna make one a, a, a thicker, you know, this is kind of flimsy. We're gonna make one to kind of hold it. So this is a universal piece. They do make it for certain vehicles, but they don't make this for every vehicle. However, we can make it fit. Putting this behind that Cadillac dashboard was, to say the least, it was a bit difficult, but we got it done. So based off of the design, based off of the clearance issues, that would dictate which AC unit we will use when it goes to custom making one for somebody that you can't find it after the fact. Well, the reason why you can't have it is because it's a little bit harder. The little ingenuity that it takes to make it work in this car ain't as simple as it is in that car, and it might not be a fan base big enough for them to waste the money to build it. So if you have one of those cars, we do a lot of stuff custom. There's a lot of parts, like for instance, the 71 through 76 Caprice, they don't make uh, particular parts that we have to hand fabricate. So that's the benefit of having a shop who have the abilities, employees that have the skill set to be able to hand fabricate pieces or make things fit when it technically don't fit. You know, that's the whole art of, to me, of building cars. When you can do things that's not as an easy boat in, one, two, three, you gotta kinda have a huddle, do some audibles, you know what I mean, to be able to score that touchdown. So come see us, we're your team, VTSB Auto. When you buy the Universal Kits, you know, they come with the hoses, you know, they come with, uh, you know, all of the wiring plugs, you know, everything will be wired up. 
you know, wired up into that, into your wire harness, and it'll just be like an AC. A lot of times, another thing when you find, you know, we build cars like this, you know, we're going real deep, like I said, we'll get a new wire harness. So we're going to order, I'm a dealer, uh, American Wire, Auto Wire, which does a great job. Painless has a good setup too, it's a lot, lot co coordinated, and they'll have an output, a power output for your AC. You will run these wires to that and everything is hardwired to your fuse box the right way how it would have been from the factory. So that's what, you know, all of this stuff. And then they give you the grommets for if you were just using the regular holes, driller holes like they would from the factory and then you will just have a grommet in there like this. We make it a little more sporty like I showed you on the Cadillac with the billet uh, lines. You know, that's a little more detail when you're using the braided holes and stuff like that. That's another level. This is just a more inexpensive way to do it rubber grommets, this will be your heater holes. Always remember on your heater, you got two hoses in and out, and on your AC, you got two in and out, you know, so one from the compressor, one from the condenser, so. Yeah, all of this stuff will come with it, your binary switch. Um, this is what, when your uh, AC kicked on, is a switch that automatically turns your fans on, you know, it automatically does that, so. All of the stuff that goes with it, you know, they have everything pretty much so that's what we do we would get a universal kit so saying all that to say you made us get deep saying all that to say we would get a universal kit in short form and make it fit into your grand torino or whatever car it is that it can't fit we will find a evaporator that we could use and make it fit we will trim your dash until we can't trim no more until it's in there we have to make a pocket something that you wouldn't see once everything goes back together that's what we'll do